guys. How's it going? Alright, tonight I am having a El Monterey egg, sausage, and cheese burrito. Let's see if I roll well with that. I am sitting outside on my porch. The lighting's not the greatest, sorry. Man, it's so much cooler than inside. I love my parents, but the old farts keep it so hot. Last night, I swear, not even joking, it was like 66 degrees outside. And they had it like the heat on, on like 73, 74. melting in there. So, it's not probably going to be the best video. My lighting is like really sucking. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Not as spotlighted. So anyway, oh, popped my back out of place earlier, so I'm like in a little bit of pain here. So yeah, I have a breakfast burrito. I have Sam. Sam? I have Sam. I have some picante sauce here. I got some yummy um, Easter decorated cookies. Those little cake cookies you get from Walmart. I got sriracha. I couldn't decide if I wanted picante sauce or if I want sriracha. Normally I'm a picante sauce girl, but I at least wanted to try it with the sriracha. I, until just recently, I had never tried sriracha sauce. I'm like very deprived over here. I don't have all these fancy little foods like a lot of you guys. Working on it. Sriracha's a start. So, um, so I got that. I'm ready to dig in. It's like, it's like oh, I gotta show you the rest. Figure out how to do my lighting and show you this. My light might change for a second. I also got a nice, huge, I've never seen this before. Huge. Ah, my lighting. Um, what's it called? Starbucks Vanilla Latte. I'm hoping this is going to be good. I need to get a better place to set that flashlight. I need a better light out here. I'm having always having light issues. I swear to God. Ugh. Oh, I'm having a lot more than light issues right now, though. I'll tell you about that story in a minute. <clears throat> Somebody really has pissed me off today. And I was going to put a straw down there, but I'll go for a swim if I do. I won't be doing no straw. It's a bad idea. I don't know if I got that ship very well or not. died and gone to heaven. Mmm, that's good stuff. Oh, I need to figure out what to do with this light. But I might have an idea. Hold that thought. <laughs> work. 
please one. Alrighty then. Ish, I think. Not the greatest, but I guess I should have found my lighting situation before I got out here. But I'm hungry and I'm mad. I just want to get out here and sit down for a bit. So let me get a couple bites and then I'll do other things. But anyway, in the meantime, how's your guys' day? Is it good? Uh, it's the weekend, so I hope you are having a good weekend, and this light is driving me crazy. <sighs> and here goes the neighbors, bye. See that one actually might be able to put a bit in the center. Because it's got sausage, egg, and cheese in it. I didn't think this part through when I came out here. <laughs> and you were seeing me. Oopsies. Also on my fork. Mm. These are really good. sure if I'll be eating out here again. Neighbors coming home. Birds. Dog to my light. <sighs> anyway. What I was saying previously. How was your day? It's the weekend. Hope you're having a good weekend. Not, I hope it goes better or goes fast. Hmm. I'm gonna need a few more bites. I'm like starving here. Oh. Yeah, I've not been feeling good all that long. I don't know what the, I'll be so glad when the doctor gets done with the, my lab work, my blood test I had to have the other day, and I hopefully find out what is going on with me. I have been so weak. I could hardly get out. I had probably the strength to get out of bed today. I tried to force myself to get out of bed and at least do 
a little bit of walking in a few minutes and a little bit of sit ups and stuff like that. I used to, I had been doing this stuff at nighttime, well, when I could. So I've been trying to switch it up to doing it during the daytime. Thinking that maybe if I get outside and get a little bit of sunshine, that would help. Maybe in time, but as of yet, nope. So, uh, it's very frustrating when you don't have the strength or how to get out of bed, even to do what you want to do, or alone get up to eat. start keeping um, some of those little breakfast shake drinks by my bed or when I'm not in the mood to get up and eat that way I at least have something to get down the hatch to work on keeping my strength up at least trying to find out what's going on and take it from there I'm trying to do what I can but uh so over this. I want to get film better so I can actually get go back to work, you know, work in some place, doing something. Everybody thinks, oh, it's so cool to, you know, not have a job. No. It's boring as hell. <sighs> Whoever gets the idea that being unemployed is fun and exciting and you're crazy. You're full of shit. Now I have a couple of days off. You know, that's not as, that's not totally different. I will get there though. Granted, I didn't like my previous job totally. When I did the pizza slash donut job, I loved the work itself. It was from management I had the issue was, issues with. But I'm hoping to get the feeling better so I can actually do something on my own, like from home or something. I do want to do something you know, that's productive and contribute to society and all, but it's hard when you don't have the energy to do anything. I didn't intend to get off on all that part. My story that I was going to tell you is about the troll that is a, started contacting me. I have a troll that contacted me on Instagram. He wanted to chat. So, okay. I, I chatted with him because, you know, I, I'm the kind of person I try to be nice to everybody. That's just how I am. Male, female, alien, whatever. <laughs> so, well, started chatting. Well, and I told him right from the very beginning that I'm happily married. I made that perfectly clear multiple times right from the beginning. Well, didn't find out he's wanting to have a relationship with me. A, a someday relationship with me. To be his woman. Um, let's see, what was the rest he said? Uh, I can't remember what I said. Um, One thing led to another, and then he started asking me some questions. Asked me how my husband was. Asked me if my husband knows about me talking to him. Yes, he does. Um, what's the rest? Start asking if I have a job. Asking if I have a bank account. Then he asked if I talked to any other guys, and I mentioned, I can't remember what I said. 
I mentioned, I, I have a friend that I talk to that, um, on a very regular basis. I, I talk to a lot of people. But the one I talk to on a very, very regular basis is a friend of mine who's gay. Well, this troll all of a sudden wants me to stop talking to him. Because my gay friend can hurt me. I'm like, uh, hurt me? How? Supposedly, my gay fr friend can give me bad ideas and teach me bad things. Like, okay, really? You're full of shit. Plain and simple. <sighs> so, yeah. I can't remember. There's more to it. I can't remember how, how the rest. Well, he claims he is divorced for three years. But I looked him up on Facebook. According to his Facebook page and even one of his recent uh, profile pictures with his wife, he's still married and been married for 26 years. Right now, supposedly, I guess he's in the military. Well, he's been in the military. He's over in Iraq. He claims he divorced her because she's a filthy, cheating whore. But yet, um, <laughs> I guess in a roundabout way, he's trying to get me to cheat on my husband by starting a relationship with him? It's like, excuse me. Hold on here. Oh, my cat scratched the door. I thought the raccoon. But yeah, it's like, excuse me. You ain't telling me what to do. Bye, Felicia. Oh, that pissed me off. <laughs> he is not telling me what to do. It's like, a block. Oh, hold on. I gotta take care of the cat before she scratches that door to pieces. So, yeah. I don't even know this jerk and he's trying to tell me what to do. Ain't flying with this girly. <laughs> I'm redhead. I'm gonna go redhead on him if he keeps on. Don't tell me what to do. Especially when I don't even know you that well. Even you don't even know you. My husband doesn't even tell me what to do. <laughs> hmm. Have any of you ever had an experience with a troll like that? And the idea of asking me if I have a job, if I have a bank account, is like, excuse me? Uh, you don't need to know those things, especially when I don't. This was just with a conversation like the first two days. So, <laughs> that's ended. He's going to be getting an earful in the morning and then cut it off. bugs me. He's like, excuse me? No, I've, I've seen trolls where they leave, you know, nasty comments and all that kind of stuff. But I've never had one that's like demanding that I stop talking to my gay friend. Uh, no. Kiss my little white ass. That's what you can do.
this with sriracha. Home salsa, but it's not bad. Something different. Could be that I'm not used to it. This is going to be the funkiest video. My lighting was. <laughs> ever experienced anything like that male or female and what did you do about it snuggles you better stop scratching that door uh-huh i'll be going a little redhead on your ass it's not anyway um say him demanding that I don't talk to my gay friends it's like I, I sent a message back to him I don't care if if you're uh, gay transgender I don't care about your race um, I don't care if you're an alien you know from like our space little green alien. I don't care any about any of that stuff. I believe in treating everyone like a human being. And I'm certainly not going to be commanded to stop talking to somebody. that and it was message and I'm like, excuse me? I almost think I like these better without the sauce. Any sauce. Wild tonight. Not as bad as it actually is. It, the lighting makes it look like it's going to like a carrot top. Sitting out here earlier, I could have swore I heard a raccoon close by. Like he was like just right over there. Now for the good stuff. He's been staring at me the entire time. He's like, oh, Mickey, hit me. Eat me. I don't even want to. I'm like, yes, I do. You look so yummy. I love these cookies. These little cake sugar cookies. careful like a small package where they have like well, it's eight or twelve I want to say twelve I'm not, but I'm not for sure anyway the small packet if I'm not careful I can have them eight by myself within like two three days 
Nobody else in the family really eats them that, that much bean. They eat them. But not like I do. I've not been as much of a sweet fan as I used to be when I was younger. But I'm gonna beat your little furry butt. Yeah, I am. I see your eyes glowing right there. Quit scratching the door. No, you're not getting outside. Not right now. No. Not my fault. You've gotten fat and can't fit in your harness. You gotta figure out how to size it to be bigger. Little piglet. Mm-hmm. Don't you sit there and argue with me. Bought her out earlier, put her in her harness, which she hates. Oh my god, she threw a fit. I never have gotten her fully trained with the harness because anytime I, anytime I've ever, I, I tried to patiently work with her on um, walking a harness. I've watched videos on how to do it and everything and, you know, try to do the steps, baby steps to coax her into doing it. Nothing of what I do seems to work. Each time I try to put the walking harness on her, she fights me and gets mad and has an attitude and everything. And then, <laughs> once I actually get her into it, she'll just <laughs> flop it over like she's a dead cat and not want to walk. Or if she does, she acts like she's crippled. I was like, oh my god, talk about a little drama queen. I'll have to get a video of all that when I started. I don't let her out because she's a Norwegian forest cat. From what I re have read, they're an expensive breed. I just found her as a stray. But my main thing, the reason I keep her inside is because I don't want to lose her because she is such a good cat. Oh my god, she is the most amazing cat I have ever had. For real. She... She's a little bit of a needy little brat. She... Most cats, you know how they'll come to you for just a few minutes of attention and they're gone. And they, plus they have that little walk like, I'm better than you. All that kind of stuff. I don't know if you need to see my head when I do that. But yeah, they have such an attitude. Well, she has an attitude too. But at the same time, she is such a loving cat. It's unbelievable. She'll come and she can snuggle. Hence her name is Snuggle, snuggle Bug. Snuggles for short. Bugs for short, also. Sometimes I call her Bug Bugs. But, um, she'll snuggle for, like, anywhere from an hour to three hours. Not even joking. I've never had a cat do that before. From my disabled husband, she is very good therapy. All kitties can learn from her. I'd be better cats. It's a little annoying sometimes when she wants attention when you're in the middle of something. Trying to get work done or something like on the computer or something. Trying to edit a video or something like that. And she'll come up and do a little pat pat to get your attention. You know, it's pay attention to her. She'll do it again. And again. And again. Until you finally give in and um, pet her. Mm. It's another thing. Sitting there and petting her head. And stroking her head down to her tail. If 
you'd let her, she'd have you sit there for 30 minutes to an hour doing that. Here's Jim, I got a problem. My foot's going to sleep. <laughs> so nice out here though. I don't want to go back inside. It's so hot in there. I swear I've got to get a hammock out here or something. gotten these before. Actually, I've never seen them this big before until tonight. So it's like, wow. I'm used to ones that like, oh, what was it? Miller Chai or something like that that they used to have. At least the store that we used to go to before we moved. They have, theirs was like Half of this big, or a quarter, two quarters. Here we have a burp going on. <laughs> I hate that when you feel like you need a burp slash hiccup, and it's like stuck in between. It doesn't know if it wants to come up or not. And you're sitting there like, um. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you have experienced anything like that with a troll. It's a different kind of troll than I'm used to seeing, dealing with. Just deal with the assholes that want to leave on other sites that I've been on that want to leave nasty comments and stuff. I'm not used to assholes that want to be near their woman. <laughs> like, okay. And I had to repeatedly tell him over and over and over, hello, I'm happily married. Happily married, do you not understand? Oh, I don't remember if I actually finished the story or not. I actually found this page on Facebook, and I found his wife's Facebook page. So, one of my questions for the night is, do you think I should collect the evidence and tell his wife, or should I just block his ass and let it go and ignore it? So, let me know in the comments below, because I'm like in limbo, I, I'm not sure what to do. I don't want to start, I don't want to stir up trouble, I don't want to be that kind of woman, but at the same time. He's a troll. He's gonna hurt somebody somewhere along the line, but at the same time, he's gonna do it anyway. So I don't know what to do. I'm thinking I probably should just block his ass and let it go. But I don't know. He, <laughs> this is just totally caught me off guard. That, Like, go 
Ich mag es selber. Is that controlling of trying to tell me, you know, to stop talking to my gay friend now? If I was in a relationship with him, which I'm not going to be ever, you can kiss my ass on that idea. Makes me wonder how controlling he would be if I was actually his wife. Scary thought. say it, but if he is divorced like he claims, then hello, maybe that's why. Sorry, this guy has really got me riled up. <laughs> and bad enough, that because he got me riled up, which I'm thinking, yeah, I probably need to actually walk him so I don't keep being riled up. So I got up earlier, I checked my blood pressure, it was 199 over 119. <sighs> I don't think it's just because of him, though. I think there's other stuff's going on. But, um, I took my blood pressure medicine, and a few an hour later, I checked it again. It was 205 over 125. It's like, what the heck? Like I said, I don't think it's just because of him riling me up, but I do think he contributed. <laughs> I think I have other stuff going on. The doctor did mention he might have to tweak my blood pressure medicine. I gotta keep track of my daily blood pressure taking, how you say it, so he can see where I stand on things. So yeah, I think he's probably going to have to tweak things. Anywho, anywho, my phone has let me know I've ran out of space, so I'm going to scoot. Like and subscribe if you want, leave comments to blow about what I've talked about if you want, and Say like and subscribe yet? Okay, what? Like and subscribe. <laughs> Bye, guys. Um, hopefully, next time will be a, a better video, okay? I just, I had to get out of the hot house.